And in it, I learned a great deal about myself and I explored my feelings of hurt and anger, unwillingness to forgive, and also explored people whom I may have hurt. And it's hard to forgive, but once you do, if you've really hurt someone, you ask for forgiveness, you also can forgive yourself. And then you have freedom. You will let go of the anger and make more space in your heart for joy. But I also have learned that forgiveness is not forgetting. We like to say forgive and forget, but that's not how it works, right? If somebody has hurt you so badly, abused you, you can forgive them, but you shouldn't subject yourself to more hurt. That's not what God wants here. Um, Eric Barreto says that Jesus' teachings on forgiveness could well be abused. Forgiveness does not mean the embrace of violence perpetrated against us. It does not mean giving free reign to those who would do us harm. It does not mean a ready acquiescence to those who are stronger than us. The context of these teachings is key. Forgiveness is a gift of grace, a reflection of God's love, not the curse of abuse or a reflection of our worst tendencies as human. And that's how often this passage gets used in a negative way. That's not what Jesus wants for us. We can forgive and still change the way things are. We can still love someone who hurts us, but then learn that maybe we shouldn't hang around with that person anymore. Like I had a friend years ago who just over and over, it was just constantly hurting me. And I finally just said, you know, this isn't working anymore and, and I gotta end this friendship. And it was painful, but I did. And I forgive her, of course, but I know that the only way I'm not gonna get hurt again is to not have any contact. And it's sad, but it's okay too, because God never wants us to suffer either. In the end, it's all about having relationships. Jesus tells us how we need to treat each other in order to have a good life. God's grace is abundant and it flows over us all the time. And God forgives everything. And Jesus gave up a lot more than 10,000 talents for us. So we also are to show mercy in life. Forgiveness is a gift of God's grace and a reflection of God's love. And that doesn't mean it's easy, though, or quick. Forgiveness is a long process often. It's a process that can involve confrontation and discussion, forgiveness and reconciliation all in one. And we can hold on to these things for a long time, but then it just kind of sits in our hearts, which is not good for us. And then we end up getting tortured by that anger. Peter today wants to know, how many times should I forgive someone? What's the rule? What's the magic number? And of course, Jesus says there is no number. There's no rules for forgiving. Our own unwillingness to forgive or ask for forgiveness will eventually wreak havoc on us. It sits in there and weighs us down. And life is too short to be miserable and bitter all the time. God's grace has no bounds, and our relationships should be governed by that grace and by forgiveness. We don't have to live the way the rest of the world does. We should live the way that Christ wants us to live. We are a community of the faithful and of the forgiven. And our mission then is to be faithful and spread that forgiveness into the world an infinite number of times. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the God, Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth. <coughs> of all that is, all seen, that is seen, seen and unseen. We believe in believe one in Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the only Son of God. Christ, the God. Eternally begotten, God, God, from God, God, God from God, light from God, light from light, light, light true, true God, God from true God, true God. God. God, God not made, not made of one being the Father. the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, our salvation came, down came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit became incarnate from the virgin Mary, Amen. Amen. 
For her sake, he was crucified and 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 crucified Believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son, He has worshipped and glorified. He has spoken, has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one Holy Catholic, Catholic and Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy. Your Guide the people of this land and of all nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours, and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. We ask for your blessing, O Lord, on all schools, colleges, and universities, that they may be centers for sound learning. We pray especially for all who are attending college this fall, and ask that you keep them safe from disease and give them wisdom and strength in these difficult times, especially Andrew Athanasian, Megan Day, Nikki Furman, Arthur Golder, William Longmire, Christopher O'Donnell, Colleen O'Donnell, Caroline Pizer, Jordan Pizer, and Carter Shields. God of love, in your mercy. Your prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Ava Longmire, Susan Dietz Massengill, Dr. Dan Griffin, Karen Liu, Brenda Marshall, Dr. Rachel Simpson, and Dr. Jeff Karowski and for all those responding to fires in California, Oregon, and other natural disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, for those with physical or mental disabilities that all may have access to proper health care, and that God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We also hold before you those who have requested our prayers, Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Nina, Shirley, Mark, Reynaldo, Charles, Carolina, Pam, Kyle, MB, Carol, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Tom, Liz, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue and Allen, Michael F. Harold, Phil, Ilsa, Carolyn, Todd McGauley, and those suffering in Portland, Oregon, and all who are affected by wildfires and other natural disasters. God of comfort and healing, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. 
We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of outcasts and wanderers, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O oh God, our comforter in times of grief and sorrow, have mercy on the souls of all who died as, re as a result of the terror of September 11th, 2001, and give comfort and strength to those who grieve for them. We remember especially Kristen Gould White, Richard Lee, and Father Michael Judge, and trust that they have been found by you and are at rest in your holy habitation. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We remember today Peter Savage and Dr. Rosario Reyes. May they rest in peace. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, and what we have asked faithfully grant that we may obtain effectually to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, God, we confess, confess that we have, that we sinned, have against sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. undone. We have not we left you with our whole heart. heart. We have not we loved our neighbors, our neighbors ourselves. Our neighbors. We are we truly are sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. <laughs> peace, 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 everyone. Well, hi, everybody. Hello. So, uh, this Sunday, we welcome back Sunday School Youth Group Thanks. via Zoom, starting at 11 o'clock soon. Um, so that should be great. The, uh, you know, the teachers have been hard at work preparing everything. So hopefully, uh, we have a lot of participation. I know with school being hybrid and there might be some people might be a little zoomed out but i think it's worthwhile <laughs> um today this afternoon at four if you're free i'll be sitting outside in the courtyard awaiting your company for a tea time but you have to bring your own tea <laughs> or whatever you don't have to have tea i'll probably just have water but uh come at four o'clock to the courtyard weather permitting of course and bring a chair, unless you want to sit on one of our chairs, which are not the most comfy things. Um, and then that's the in-person tea. And then in two weeks, we'll have an online tea. As, uh, so we'll have something for everyone. The book study continues and this week on Thursday. And vestry is on Tuesday. So don't forget vestry, Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Um, is there any birthdays or anniversaries this week? Yes, Rosetta Chow. Oh. Rosetta's birthday? 12th, yesterday. Oh, oh yay. <laughs> Linda informed on you. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's say our birthday prayer, which is on page seven. <clears throat> I'll start and then everybody just go. 
Watch over Watch those, those, those who are celebrating, celebrating their birthdays, so Lord, Lord, for days as they increase, guide them wherever they may be, and them where they stand, when they stand, them when they are discouraged, them up, 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 them Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday, Rosetta. <laughs> oh, and so at the end of the service, normally we go right into coffee hour, but today we're going to have the summer video that everybody, well, a lot of people submitted pictures and videos for the summer video. So that's going to be played at the end of the service for coffee hour. So okay. stay on mute and watch our video. I think it's pretty good, but I'm a little biased because <laughs> I made it. <laughs> so stay online for that. And then it's going to be posted later on our other social medias and the website and things like that. And so now, before we get to the offertory, we are in the, have started our official pledge drive for the stewardship season. And we started a little early this year because of the election coming up in November. We didn't want to get caught up in uh, the election fever, you know, as that goes. Maybe that's a bad term to say, fever. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, so we're starting it now. And if you probably have gotten something in the mail with a pledge card, if you want to pledge, if you could return that to the office by October 5th, then we can start working on our budget for next year. And today we have a presentation during the Offertory Hymn, a slideshow, but also we are having a testimonial. Oh, nice. Are you here? She's here. All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Oh, you have to unmute. Yeah. No, she's unmuted. Melissa. You're good. Nope, nope, Alyssa, you have to unmute. I can't hear you, Alyssa. Can't uh -oh. hear. <laughs> Oops. Does this work? Yes, yes. we hear you. Okay, well, I can't see anybody, but that's all right. So I'm here at Bar Beach. Uh, my uh, walking meditation went a little long, so I'm sitting here with my fake background. Um, so when I, I, I've said this before, but uh, when I moved to Port Washington about seven years ago, I searched for a church. I went to a couple of them and I came to St. Stephen's and I was greeted by um, Jim and uh, Jim Massengill and Bob O'Brien. And I fell in love with the music and the friendly people and the coffee hour and just the general, the liturgy, the whole thing. And um, it really enhanced my life. And I didn't realize I was coming into the church at a time of change, but even that was okay. And I stuck with it and I was received into the church and um, pledging became part of my life and it still is. And um, I've gone through some difficulties. I had, a, uh, I had a surgery about a year and a half ago and the support of everybody in this parish has been unbelievable. And uh, I just found out Friday, I have to have another surgery. And uh, so, Basically, this church, this community means a great deal to me. And during this time of uh, pandemic and fear, I really feel it means even more than ever. And my great hope is that we'll all come together as we have and continue to come together and continue to support St. Stephen. And uh, I just thank you so much for this opportunity to share. And uh, God bless the church and all of you. Thanks so much, Elisa. You're welcome. Wow, thank you so much for sharing. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. And we are definitely here for you again, no fear. Um, and we'll continue on for our offertory, which is a beautiful anthem, which you will soon hear. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as an offering and sacrifice to God.
Farm Prayer A, which begins on page 7 in your bulletin, or in your prayer book on 361. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For by water and the Holy Spirit, you have made us a new people in Jesus Christ our Lord, to show forth your glory in all the world. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he gave thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O oh Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace, and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory and yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom, come, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this, us this day our daily, daily, daily bread. Forgive us our Forgive trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, glory, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Jesus, Lamb of God,
Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, give us your gifts of God for the people of God. Remember that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Sacrament of your body and blood, and come spiritually into my, into my heart, and strengthen, and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. And, and let me never, never be separated from you. From you. May may I, I live in you, you and you in me, in this life and in the life to come. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you.
Let's go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. Now stay muted to watch the video. <laughs> Thank you. 